equation. Another thing you might notice is that there's really like only one decimal place. See how this is like nine tenths and four tenths and two tenths. So what we can do by to clear the decimals is we can multiply through this whole equation by the number 10. Now the nice thing about multiplying by 10 is it moves the decimal one place to the right, making this now 9x, and that's a whole number which is a little bit easier to work with. You also want to make sure you multiply the 2 by 10, and you don't see the decimal. That means it's understood to be right here on the right side. So if I move that one place to the right, this is actually going to make this 20, because I have to put a 0 as a placeholder. Same thing here, if I multiply this guy by 10, that's going to give us 24x. And then this guy, we multiply by 10, that's going to give us 82. Now, the reason this works is we're keeping the equation balanced. It's like we're multiplying the left side by 10, and we're also multiplying the right side by 10. And so it's keeping the equation balanced, just